X-Men Apocalypse trailer finally came out, and it's going to give us a glimpse on what we should be expecting uh, when, I believe, May 26th, uh, it's Memorial Day weekend, whatever day that falls on. That is when X-Men Apocalypse will hit. And so we got to see a lot of cool stuff with this. They showed us glimpses of all the new char actors playing these characters. We saw Sophie Turner playing uh, Jean Grey. You might know her from Game of Thrones. She looked cool in it. Uh, we saw Storm. We saw Jubilee. We saw Angel. We saw Psylocke. We saw a whole bunch of people. Nightcrawler was in there and looking, looking just like he did in X2, which was... Uh, the way I think Nightcrawler should look, so it's pretty cool that they're they're kind of keeping that. And we also got to see a lot, I mean a lot, of Apocalypse. I thought they were going to kind of try to keep him veiled a little bit through some of the trailers, and then, mm. okay, this is what he looks like big time in the movies, but uh, mm -mm, they just went straight for it, and he's out there in all his glory. So I just want to talk a little bit about uh, my reaction to this trailer and Brendan's reaction to the trailer. So first thing I thought of when I saw this trailer was this is what X-Men 3 should have been. The last stand should have been this. This should have been Brian Singer's, uh, you know, big top off uh, to the X-Men franchise that he was doing. Instead, we got Sam Raimi's piece of garbage that was X-Men 3. And it, it kind of made me think of what could have been. What if what if Brian Singer had done that X-Men 3? And then where would we be with the X-Men movies now? They wouldn't have had to reboot the whole franchise, that's for sure. Mm. Uh, which it seems like they did have to do with, especially with Days of Future Past. They really kind of erased all the craziness that happened in X-Men 3. So, you know, it's nice to see that Brian Singer is finally going to complete this trilogy that he wanted to with the X-Men. Um it's kind of sad that it took an extra three movies to have to do it. But I, I, I kind of am glad. I mean, yeah, I love the original cast. But I also really like this cast, so... You know, bittersweet. Uh, I've enjoyed the new movies, but wish we could have had better older movies. I, I think I I would say I, I somewhat disagree that this is what three should have been. This is probably hopefully will be the quality that three should have been. That's what I'm um, talking about. Yeah, the quality. But, yeah. Okay. Um, otherwise, I would say we we kind of still are missing out on what story wise three could have and should have been. Yeah, the, um, the Phoenix Saga, which would have yeah, been really cool. yeah, because. And, and they can't really revisit that right now. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, at the end of 2, you saw the glimpse. You thought, hey, we're going to see Phoenix in the next movie. This is going to be awesome. You and just then saw they, the worst Phoenix You did of all see time, Phoenix. Right? <laughs> they delivered on that. It just was not. It was not the worst Phoenix of all time. Yeah. yeah. And, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to, to see that revisited unless they brought Phoenix into the Apocalypse storyline right now, which would be kind of cool but I, yeah, it doesn't do look it. like they're going that direction so. it doesn't it doesn't but just a, a couple things that i got from the trailer so it looks like mystique we're going to see her joining the x-men for this final uh part of brian singer's new trilogy first class trilogy i'm going to call it um and because it just seemed like she was on charles's side the whole time uh now magneto her traditional partner in crime is being turned into one of the four horsemen so that explains why she probably can't follow him uh, but it, it is interesting to see her kind of flip back sides. This was always a character that kind of kept on the fence, you know, left, you know, both sides during the days. She has, ties. she has very one. strong ties to both sides. Yeah, so. very strong ties to both sides. So it, it's it's she's been a very interesting character, and hopefully Jennifer Lawrence will finish this off well. Um, one thing that disappointed me is I didn't really see much Wolverine. I was kind of hoping to see him a little bit. I do believe he's supposed to be in this movie. Uh, I believe Wolverine 3 will be Hugh Jackman's last turn as Wolverine, but that doesn't mean he can't be in this one, I don't think. So if he's not in this one, I'm going to be a little disappointed. Yeah, and it, it granted, it's just like the first trailer that's out, so they just might not be showing him very much, and maybe he is taking a, a backseat role, but... We we didn't see a whole lot of several characters. We did see like uh, Professor Xavier show up, but he wasn't in the trailer a whole lot. I as no, much well, as I, would I mean, he was yeah, he wasn't a he focus was there, of the trailer. I right. mean, Apocalypse was the focus of the trailer exactly. by far. Um, I think and they just, just showed glimpses of they, who the they four didn't have time to go over a lot of them. So yeah, so and they did show glimpses of the four horsemen who they're going to be, what they're going to kind of look like. Yeah. But they didn't yeah, a lot get of those. They just kind of flashed. 
flash yeah. across the screen. So. Yeah, like you saw a storm apocalypse vid- visiting storm. It looks like in Africa and recruiting her, and you know you see him kind of visiting Magneto and saying, "Okay, you're mine now." And uh, but they they show a lot of cool things, and and it is they're setting it up like it should be. Is that apocalypse is this ancient being? Which I did think there was some cool uh, talk between uh, whoever the CIA agent, their liaison from the first one is, um, telling them about this guy that pops up every couple hundred years, it seems like, or thousand years. And he's been around for tens of thousands of years. So I think they did a good job setting that up. Now, they won't be able to really talk about a lot of the origins of Apocalypse just because uh, a lot of that has to do with what goes on um, with the Celestials. So that doesn't really work. Yeah, if they're not plan to go into that which can they even go into that or is that under marvel i think uh, that's under marvel because they're they have not guardians of the galaxy. technically right so yeah they have guardians of the galaxy and that's like the whole space realm whatever the extended universe for the marvel properties so i don't think they'll be able to jump into that um but overall i'm pretty excited to see this movie i thought this trailer was a really good first step uh you can't really judge too much off of a trailer i'm not going to geek out about anything because again you have to go see the movie Trailers are cool enough, but movies are really what we what we want to see. So, uh, I don't know. But overall, what I saw so far, I think it'll be a good movie. I, I would say that it was it was interesting, but I wasn't. Um, I, it didn't show me anything that I didn't already think was going to be in there. It, it's showing me kind of what I expect the movie is going to be is going to be what I I've been thinking. Like, there's no new information from this. We've talked about it before. It seems like. Now we're just seeing all these characters that we, we knew were, were going to be in there, which is fine, though. I mean, yeah. it's, it's showing oh, off yeah. what it's going to look like. We don't have to have a big new reveal just from well, a trailer. I don't, I don't need any spoilers. Yeah. I can I can be surprised in the movie theater. I'm, I'm just saying like, there, there wasn't any characters in there that we didn't already know were going to be in there. Yeah. Which, again, is fine. Or set up or anything cool. like that. So, But that's it, it's fine. It's just I'm, it's not the most super exciting trailer in that respect but it looks like it's going to deliver what we expect which is sometimes a good thing exactly but hit us up let us know what you think uh were you excited with this trailer does this make you want to see the movie more or less hit us up let us know comments down below of course at what's my face on twitter google Plus and facebook always good ways of getting a hold of us but and do you miss halle berry that's storm just saying oh well, everybody misses halle berry yeah just comment but down let's... below tell us do you miss halle berry i miss halle berry we all miss her we all miss her